Welcome back to Bios Above the Jag. Um, I've treated all of um, all of the the areas with uh, Genolite rust treatment. They're all inside here. This metal's all it's all decent. We've had surface rust and in, in, in here. It's just um, yeah. it's just Genolite um, rust converter. Uh, I'll leave that to dry. And and then what I'm going to do when that's dry, I'll come back to it probably after 24 hours. I'm going to spray weld through primer because we'll be we'll be welding back onto here. But I don't want any um, I don't want any traces of rust, so I'll leave it now. What I'm going to do next, because um, there is more rust underneath. Let me just um, I've made a pattern here. Let me just show you. Oh, this is where the um, this is where the sorry about that guy shouting. It's just a neighbour. The fuel pipe goes from the the petrol tank through there into the boot, but it's quite rotten, and I've peeled back part of the rotten valance and there is rot and if you remember from last week I found the sponge inside and that's done no favours to this so what I'm going to do I've already taken a template just try and pop that in there one handed which way around does it go forgive the shaky camera work here but it goes roughly about about the, you know we've got metal missing but I've managed to take a reasonable profile so I'm going to take a, a, a flat sheet of steel and trim that shape but it needs to have a 90 degree fold i don't know if you can can i get the camera in where you can see let's have a look yeah here we go look there's a 90 degree fold just here so obviously we've got metal missing there we can see daylight straight through it so that's got to be filled in but it does have a fold so it's an easy enough repair um, let's just pop this back in so basically where we see the white paper that'll be new metal a new hole for the for the uh, for the fuel line to go through and i'm buying some new grommets i've ordered them they're large grommets that um have a hole in just for the um for the fuel line to go through let me just show you the originals this this is the fuel pipe and and there's the the original grommets but they've all gone hard and they're not a very good fit so moisture could spray through there and end up dribbling into the into the boot because obviously it's quite vulnerable if that's not a tight fit with the grommet moisture will get in so we do not want any moisture getting in quite probably that's why this is rusty here this grommet went hard and it, it's kind of wriggles about yeah there's you can see daylight through you know it it, it should be a tight fit on the uh, on the fuel line so um, in all probability that's where the moisture's come from in the boot that's rotted this area out so i'm going to i'll i'll, I'll show you a bit on um i'll i'm just going to trim this out a flat sheet but i need to add about 10 millimeters um to that curved ed edge actually and i have to sort of i'll have to beat that over by hand so i'll replicate this in steel but i won't make sure i've got a really good fit before i go trimming any of that under there and i suspect this size just as bad i would imagine there's some filler in there so i'm in all probability let's have a look see this one you can see from the inside is rusty that one looks less so down there, but I'll have a really good bash around with a with a with a sort of a screwdriver or a chisel, anything anything sort of that, that's damaged or fragile. I'll just trim it out. Right. Next step is to get a flat sheet of metal and trim that out, and and I'm going to I'm going to drive it over by hand. I'll I'll, I'll mount the camera on a tripod and I'll try and let you, uh, I'll try and show you that bit that I'll be doing by hand in a few minutes. <laughs> 